when I uh, when I look at look now, what, what, what do I see? I, I see education. I see when I look at Maria Mirjakani, for example, I also see Lubna. Why do I see Lubna? Is because people like Maria Mirjakani accomplish so much in mathematics by standing on the shoulder of Lubna. So Lubna was born, as I said, in 927 AD in Spain, ruled by, nowadays Spain, at that time it was called Al-Andalus, ruled by, uh, by Caliph Al-Rahman. He was the first Caliph of Al-Andalus Khilafat. Al-Andalus consists of what we call nowadays, of course, there is no Al-Andalus right now, but Al-Andalus, what we now call is Spain and Portugal together. If you put Spain and Portugal together, and that's Al-Andalus from 711 to 1492. 711 to 1492, if you Portugal, Portugal, today's Portugal and Spain together, call Al-Andalus. Okay. So this is the historic um, fact that I wanted to share because without this historic knowledge you won't be able to understand Lubna's contribution in mathematics because we don't know much about her parent. She was born in about 927. Uh, uh, however, we don't know about her parents because she was born as Sakaliba, uh, a term that used for uh, people who came from East Europe to Al-Andalus as a slave. So she was born as a slave to Al-Andalus and uh, along with so many other children. However, she, um, she was bright, she was allowed to, uh, allowed to education at uh, Al-Andalus uh, courthouse. So when Al-Rahman, the Caliph Al-Rahman died, his son Al-Hakim, freed a few slaves including Lubna. We really don't know why Khalif al-Hakim, the son of al-Rahman, freed Lubna, but it is believed that he freed her because he wanted to give her a job and in fact he did give her a job as a copyist at the library of Cordoba. A big job for women at that time. A big job for women at that time. It's like a woman heading NASA right now. It's as big as that for that time. As a copyist, she was responsible for collecting books uh, and translating them, especially the math books. So one of the book, one of the important books she translated from Greek to Arabic was Euclid elements. Euclid elements survived thousands of years is because she translated from Greek to Arabic so it is spread all around the Arabic world and then it is spread all around the Al-Andalus which is Spain and Portugal and then it is spread all around the Europe and eventually spread all around the world because of Lubna the Euclid elements survive. Well, she got a lot, a lot of recognition for her contribution in mathematics, including translating Euclid elements from Greek to Arabic. In 2019, the government of Spain named a street, a street in Cordoba, the city she spent so much time. Um, after her, it's a great honor for a Muslim woman. Uh, so, Avenida Escriva Lubna, the name of the street is. So today, when I see a woman like Maria Mizukani, I actually see her in a way is because Maria Mizukani or, uh, or, or people, or women like Maria Mizukani, accomplished so much in mathematics, standing on the shoulder of giant like her. <laughs>